So in the last video, I showed you how to get the Infusionsoft contact ID with their IP address and then the date the form was submitted that captured the IP address. So in this video, I need to show you how to upload these IP addresses back to Infusionsoft so that this contact record will have this IP address in their custom field. So what I want to do is I want to make a table out of this data and I want to sort it oldest to newest. So I'm going to create a table. The table has headers. And then I'm going to sort this oldest to newest. Now if you see where it says sort A to Z, if you do A to Z, it's going to sort it alphabetically. So, you know, all the ones come first, all the twos and all the threes. That's not really sorting it uh, by date. It's sorting it, you know, by alphabetics. So to fix that, I'm just going to copy this table. I'm going to paste it in Notepad. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to create a new sheet. And then I'm going to do a table. I'm going to insert a table here. And if I do that, now I have sort oldest to newest. So that's what I want to do. Um, so however you create, you know, format that as a date column is up to you. That's just what I do. But um, the key is to get everything oldest to newest. So if this contact ID, like ID 43, it shows up multiple times. I want whatever record is last for that, for that record, for that contact ID, I want to grab that IP address, so the most recent IP address. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this as a CSV file, and then I'm going to upload it into Infusionsoft. So I do save as, select CSV, I'm going to save it on my desktop, and I'm going to say upload IP address. So I have that saved as a CSV file. I'm going to go to import data. Actually, you don't go to import data, you go to data cleanup. Go to data cleanup, and you want to modify existing records. And you want to, you want to modify your contact records. And you want to upload the CSV file. So on my desktop, I called it upload IP address.csv. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to map contact ID to the Infusionsoft's contact ID, IP address to the IP address custom field, and form date. I'm not going to map that to anything. Um, I don't need form date, I just need contact ID and IP address. So I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to click Done. So my import started. And now what I want to do is view the list of contacts that I just updated. Um, actually, I'm going to go view all my contact records. So I'm going to go to View and then Contacts. I'm going to click on this little guy here, and I've already edited my criteria and columns. I've already added, you know, IP address and then the country, city, and state. I've, I've already done that, so I did that to make it easy, you know, to view who has an IP address and who doesn't, who has location information and who doesn't. So we've uploaded all the IP addresses that we can back into Infusionsoft. Uh, and now it's time to apply the geodata. So I'll do that in the next video.